Dear students, welcome to my YouTube channel Anu Computer Education. So please like, share, subscribe my YouTube channel and please don't forget to like this video. So this is very very important model uh, uh, paper in RDBMS BCom third semester. So the questions here are the very very important uh, uh, questions in part A. Two marks question. What is data redundancy and consistency? So you know what is the meaning of data redundancy? So if you are maintaining the database, okay, if the same information, if you are maintaining multiple copies, so that leads to data redundancy. So how to handle this data redundancy? This can be done with the help of the concept called as normalization. So you know what is the meaning of normalization? Once you use the concept of normalization, what normalization is doing now? It is reducing the data redundancy. So once the data redundancy is reduces, so that the data will be in the consistent. So data redundancy and consistency both are interlinked topic. So next, what is the meaning of data integrity? You know what is the meaning of data integrity? So when we are maintaining the data, so you know different types of data integrities are there. Referential integrity, entity integrity, domain integrity so many integrities are there so it means uh, by using the foreign key you can make a relationship with one table with other table so all uh, we have so different types of redundancies are there that you have to learn so you know what is the meaning of primary key a primary key is an attribute or it's a set of attributes by making use of this attribute we can uh, identify the each row of a table uniquely if the primary key is not there we cannot differentiate one record with the other record so that is what we have to write it so what is sequence and what is indexing the two mass question so just a definition will be there from CR material just can learn the definition so next uh, the very very important question what is group by class order by class having class compulsory one question you'll get from this so you know what is where class whenever you want to display the or retrieve the information from the table based on the condition so then we need to use the concept of where clause sir what is the use of order by clause order by clause is used to arrange the data in database in ascending order and descending order so then we need to use order by clause so why we are using group by clause if you want to similar type of data if you want to merge so then we are going to use group by class whatever the result which is produced by the help of group by class that you want to display based on the condition then we have to use having class having class can be used on group by class only having class and where class both are same but having class we cannot use directly having class can be used on the group by class result so that is what we have to understand so you know what is the data replication and data fragmentation so what is the meaning of data replication repeating the same data at multiple sites is known as data replication okay you know we have so many types of replications are there one is partial replication fully replication so what is the meaning of partial replication repeating the data in few sites. suppose if i'm having four sites are there if i'm repeating the data in only two or three sites then that is called as partial replication what is the meaning of fully replication if you have four sites are there four different areas are there in all this area if you repeat that same data then that is called as fully replication so what is the meaning of fragmentation breaking the relation or table into either in rows or columns or mixed so that is called as uh, fragmentation suppose i'm having one table which is having 100 records are there so what i'm doing i'm dividing the table into four pieces now so each piece i'm storing 25 25 records so this type of division is called as horizontal fragmentation so you can also use vertical fragmentation and you can go for the concept of next uh, mixed fragmentation is also there the next question is what is uh, uh, what is transaction properties or acid properties you know what is the meaning of acid atomicity consistency isolation and durability you know what is the meaning of uh, atomicity what is the meaning of atomicity either the transaction should complete successfully or not yet performed okay that is called as atomicity so what is the meaning of consistency so before performing transaction after performing transaction the data should be in the consistent state and what is the meaning of isolation you know uh, in the unit number four uh, what is the unit number four concurrent transaction so it, at the same time if you execute multiple transactions so one transaction should not interfere the other transaction so we can execute more than one transaction so one transaction should not interfere the other transaction so that is called as isolation so what is the meaning of durability durability is not how long the changes should be okay saved in the database that is called as durability so now the next very very important question is what is an attribute so you know attribute is a 
column it is also called a value so we have so many types of attributes are there like example if you take one table rule number name marks age gender what are the columns we are saying now these are all our different types of attributes are there so what are the different types of attributes are there attributes can be represented in so many ways uh, one is uh, key attribute prime at prime attribute and single value attribute multi value attribute derived attribute okay composite attribute so we have so many different types of attributes are there so you know already the diagrams just you can follow the material and you can learn this question and uh, this is about the short answers part a and the part b very very important question is uh, what is dbms and over uh, advantages uh, dbms over file system so you know uh, in olden days what are the data which we are maintaining the data should be maintained in the form of files so once the dbms is entered in our life so we are giving what more protection to the database in terms of security so no, no uh, unauthorized person cannot access the data which is stored in the database if the user want to access any data he has to use the username and password so that way we are giving the protection to the database and also we uh, we are getting the benefit uh, we cannot uh, data redundancy will be removed and the data is always in the consistent so all these side readings you have tried and you have to explain uh, okay and back, uh, next is what backup and recovery so when we are using the dbms what are the data which we are storing we can also take the backup if any due to any error either it may be a hardware failure or anything is happened we can also retrieve the data from the database so that is called as database backup and recovery so these are all the benefits when i'm getting when i'm using the concept called as dbms okay the next when it is comes to the dba functions of dba so what is dba database administrator so he is the main person in the organization he is a one or more persons so so he will be the responsible so he will be creating the schema schema is nothing but structure so what table should be there how many columns should be there in the table so in in what table what type of data we can store in the uh, okay and he will be giving the training to the user and he will give the granting the permission so what what he can access and what he cannot access that all this uh, will be under the control of dba now so these are all the next whenever uh, whenever the uh, giving the training to the users okay so giving the authorization so what what uh, tables if, if the uh, user want to access one particular table so he has to get the permission so by making use of the grant and revoke the administrator can give you the permission and you can also take the permission from the user so these are all the activities which is performed by the okay uh, dba and the next year i given some uh, you in place of dba you may get er model also you know what is er model entity relational model so you know what is er model uh, entities an entity is nothing but it's a uh, entity is an uh, any object a real world object so every entity is having what attributes are there example student okay or person car okay so these are all our entities now so if i take the example of student so every student is having student rule number will be there student name will be there student uh, age will be there student gender will be there these are all are called as properties of an entity so that all complete concept you have to explain with example so what is the meaning of normalization normalization is a, is a process of okay reducing the data redundancy from the okay table so we are not going to reduce completely but we are reducing the minimizing the data redundancy that is very very important okay so if we have so many different types of normalizations are there so please remember decomposition mean meaning is also so whenever you are getting any data redundancy problem we can break the table into multiple tables okay that process is called as decomposition so breaking breaking the one table into multiple tables is known as decomposition sometimes you may get this question in two marks so don't be get confusion decomposition is nothing but breaking so this is uh, is done in the concept of normalization so you know already we have so many different types of normal forms are there first normal form you know first normal form what is the first normal form is saying every cell should containing contain atomic value it is means what single value note uh, cell should contain more than one value if any table or any cell is containing more than one value that we have to remove in the first normal form so next what is the second normal form you know whenever the table is in second normal form if and only if the first the table should be in the first normal form so once it is in the first normal form so every non prime attribute must be depend on the prime attribute of the table so example i take the student 
student example in the student example rule number is there name is there marks is there so if i say the rule number i can say the name of the student if i say the rule number i can say the marks but if i say the marks i cannot say the his name i cannot say his rule number so so it means what rule number is a prime attribute and the name and marks column is nothing but a non prime attribute so the non prime attributes must be depend on the prime attribute of the table so this is called as functional dependency what is the meaning of functional dependency if x determines y so x is nothing but rule number here and y is nothing but the name so name can be derived with help of rule number but rule number cannot be determined with help of name so that is called as functional dependency so all uh, in a second normal form we have to check about the uh, functional dependency whether all the columns what are the table you are going to draw in the table all the columns must be depend on the prime attribute of the table so this is one of the very very important so next come to the next third normal form uh, third normal form in order to say any table or relation is in uh, third normal form if and only if it should be uh, in second normal form so once it is in second normal form so we need to uh, check it should satisfy the condition called transitive dependency sir what is the meaning of transitive dependency if x determines y if y determines z and z determines x so this is called as transitive dependency so what we have to do in that in this situation if any relation or any relation tables if it is uh, creating a problem called as transitive dependency so we have to break the table so that is called as decomposition so once you divide the table and we should break the transitive dependency so okay so it means what in in one non prime attribute cannot determine the other non prime attribute if anything is there so that we have to uh, remove okay so this is called as third normal form okay and next fourth normal form uh, bcnf boys code normal form it is an advanced version of third normal form okay it is also called as 3.5 normal form in order to say uh, a table is in bcnf first and foremost thing the table should be satisfies the 3nf and all lhs uh, okay lhs uh, okay must be what it must be a candidate key okay now next uh, now next uh, very very important question is please once uh, you listen this video please like this video so that once you like this video the it will be uh, forwarded to many people but most of the students uh, what they are doing just uh, they are watching the uh, video and then taking the screen screenshot of the question and listen what i am saying just to follow this instruction and uh, okay so what is the meaning of file organization so how whenever we create a files so how these files are mapped or stored onto the hard disk is known as file organization so if i'm giving 10 different objects to you so i'm saying you need to arrange in uh, in one in in such a way that so whenever i'm going to take any object it should be uh, retrieved easily so that the time should be reduced okay so that is called as file organization so we have so many types of file organization file organizations are there okay so once if you use a better uh, file organization better arrangement so that retrieving and insertion and deletion uh, will be done very faster so this is what we have to do now so we have to, so many different types of file organizations are there uh, sequential file organization uh, heap file organization hash file organization and indexed sequential file organization so all these file organization definitions you have to learn so next the very very important question is explain about the ddl and dml commands uh, with your own example so you know what is ddl data definition language uh, by making use of these ddl commands what we can do we can make a structures so what is the meaning of structure tables we can create so it is having so many commands are there create command alter command drop command and uh, okay rename command okay and uh, so many five comments are there so all these comments no need to write the syntaxes you take your own example and create it one table so just uh, for every comment just line write one line of information and uh, you can write go for the example so next uh, the in, uh, dml commands are used to manipulate the data suppose uh, with the help of ddl we can create a table now so once the table is created with the help of dml command what we can do what is the table which you created in the table you can insert the records you can enter the data into the table and when you can remove the data from the table you can make modifications on the uh, data which you have stored in the table so it is having so many commands are there insert command update command delete command and so many commands are there okay so with the help of insert command what we can do we can insert the records into the table with the help of delete command what we can do we can remove the information from the table with the help of uh, uh, 
update command whatever the data which we stored you can also make some changes to the data that, that can be done with the help of update command so all these concepts you have to explain with your own example so no need to write the syntaxes and uh, the very very important question which we are going to discuss now uh, what is join so you know what is the meaning of join joining two or more tables into okay single tables okay so you know what is what are the different types of so you remember whenever you want to use a join concept compulsory which concept we need to use foreign key concept you have to use okay and next we have so many different types of joins are there natural join is there so what is the meaning of natural join so only it will join the left table so for example you have two tables are there left table and right table t1 table t2 table if you want to join t1 table with t2 table so natural join will join only the records which are matched in both the tables now it won't uh, take uh, unmatched records now it will take only left side t1 table matching information t2 table matching information only it will take okay and uh, left to join means t1 table matching records it will take and t1 table unmatching records okay also it will take and uh, t1 table unmatching records information uh, is not available in t2 table so in that place it will place the null value so what is uh, right uh, right join right join it will take complete uh, records or rows of t t2 table and t2 table unmatching information if it is found in t2 so it will place null values okay L what is full uh, full join it is a combination of left join and right join okay so what is cross join it is a cartesian product suppose if a table is having two rows are there if the other table is having three rows every row of first table is multiplied with the every row of second table so that is called as cartesian join so natural join and uh, uh this uh, natural join and one more name inner join so both are same okay next uh, what is the meaning of deadlock and how to uh, prevent so you know what is the meaning of deadlock so when we are executing so concurrent transaction so when we are uh, performing more than one transaction at same time if the t1 and t2 transaction are, we are executing t1 transaction is holding the resource uh, p1 at the same time t2 transaction is holding the resource p2 uh, t, to complete the t1 transaction t1 transaction need p2 resource which is held by the uh, t2 transaction t2 transaction want to complete its job so it, it needs the resource p1 which is held by the t1 transaction so no no transaction is ready to release the uh, uh, release the resource so that this situation is called as deadlock so t1 transaction is stopped at the same time t2 transaction is also stopped so that this situation is called as deadlock so how to prevent so whenever uh, we are executing concurrent transaction more than one transaction at same time so how to uh, prevent okay so how to avoid so once you get at any deadlock situation so how to avoid this uh, so you know wait for graph and so many locking mechanisms so with the help of this concept you can uh, control the concept of deadlock okay so the next the very very important question is uh, database uh, errors and backup and recovery techniques so you know already uh, whenever we maintain the database you can get what different types of errors like maybe hardware crash or power failure floods or any uncertainty problem so due to that you may get what data error okay problem errors so whenever you are getting problem so you need to you so every company will maintain the backup so with the help of the backup whenever you need so you can go go for the recovery so you can uh, back up and restore the data which you lost so that you have to write it next what is the meaning of distributed database okay what are the data so every organization will maintain the database now so same data they are going to distribute in the different areas okay so why because in future if anything is happened in one side you can also access the same information from the other side so that is called as database and uh, it is having so many advantages are there and disadvantages you have to learn this answer and the next very very important question is uh, what is a client server computing and its advantages and disadvantages and these are very very important in questions in rdbms so most important questions which are given in this video please don't forget to like this video so please subscribe and share this video to your friends really i'm saying it will be very very useful so once you complete your exam and after coming to your home please give the feedback 
so that it will be useful useful to others thank you all the best for your exam